Hello, my pretties. How are you guys? I'm just going to do a quick energy checkup. Um, I haven't sat at this table for a couple of days, so this is like, um, you know, me just checking in on the energy. Um, somebody may be getting some news about some money. Excuse me. Um, this could even be, um, this has to do with some sort of work that you put in. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. Did I say hello, my pretties? ThePrettyOracle.com is my website. It's where you're going to be able to find my products and services. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for showing, you know, me love and support. I appreciate you guys who are, you know, purchasing from the website and sharing your reviews. And I appreciate being able to help you guys. Um, yeah, I'm grateful. Okay. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Um... You know, this could be, show me three of pentacles. This could be something that you was working on, something that you did. Yeah, like something that may have not even um, showed you or reaped some sort of rewards. Look, the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck again. And it's like, you know, with the ace, look at, look at that. Look at those aces. Look at those aces. The ace of um, wands, the ace of swords, and the ace of pentacles. So, like, this this makes me feel like something creative that you were working on. You could be hearing back from it. Like, and, oh, there's always some noise going on. But anyway, um, there's something that you could be hearing back from. Like, when I, when I say back, I mean, like, maybe when you first put it out, you know, it didn't get any traction or it wasn't making any money or whatever. It didn't get any attention. But now you may be hearing about it. Okay? Um, I feel like this may be something creative with that Ace of Wands showing up. And then also, uh, we have the, um, yeah, see, the, the Three of Pentacles is clarifying that. So, what is this? Tell me, tell me it's something you worked on with other people or what? Um, this could even have to do with some sort of... Um, Something you was working on that have to do with the justice system. I don't know. It could be a lawsuit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be different for, for a lot of you. And, you know, for some of you guys, it's going to be legal. But for others of you guys, it's actually something creative. You could even be hearing back about, like, copywriting something or something like that. Like, that's that's what it feel like. Um, show me the Ace of Pentacles. Um, you know, we have... We have... I don't know. This is the second time I just took a pause. <laughs> um, during the reads or whatever today. But we have the hangman here. And uh, something that was at a standstill now is like, I feel like open road. You could have just recently did something to open your roads or something like that. That's what it feels. It even feels like you may have been in like a, a stuck type of situation. And then all of a sudden you like did blockage removal and like now things are going steady, you know, or this is the beginning of something that will go steady or something like that. And whatever it is that feels prosperous, it feels like, um roads are paved with gold and i'm hearing like roads are paved with gold it's something here even something to be like the wizard of oz nobody beats the whiz um ease on down ease on down the road this has to do with like a spiritual journey or something like that some of y'all might even want to go watch the whiz um or the wizard of oz i don't know uh the whiz is supposed to be the black one i think yeah, and the wizard. Of, but anyway, you know, as an adult, me watching it, I gained a different perspective from, of course, from when I was a child. Um, watching it or whatever. This could even be about a home, y'all. Like this could be about something that that has to do with like a home. You could be hearing back. I heard homeowner owners association. Some of you guys could apply for some sort of housing or something like that. This feels like things going in people's favor. It's gonna be different, but the overall energy is things going in people's favor. You know what I've been doing lately too, and it's crazy. Um, I you know I really love when the readings when I'm reading for my collective and it coincides with uh my products right um I just made uh everything in my favorite candle and I've been um 
giving it to you guys in the bundles. That's exactly what this feels like. That's exactly what it feels like. Everything in my favor, you know, because is because because like I said, for a lot of y'all, it's not a pinpoint on exactly what this is. It's, it's different for a lot of you guys, but it feels like a everything in my favor type energy. Okay, uh, for some of you guys, I may have given you the oil to this before, but I just recently made the can the candle, and I've been you know um, putting it in the bundle. So congratulations. Okay. Um, The wheel of fortune, like I said, everything in my favor, okay? The wheel of fortune and the eight of cups. Now, here's the thing, right? In the chariot. So, it feels to me like with this, and it brings us down here. So, with this newfound energy, right? You have somebody over here with the six of cups and the three of swords. They sad about it. Whoever this is, this is a knight of wands type individual. I'm feeling like whoever this person is, they always broke or whatever. I heard they got to go. Like somebody now has to go. Somebody could have been staying in your home or benefiting off of you, maybe even in some way. And maybe even energetically, they could have been benefiting off of you energetically by you standing still with this hangman or whatever. Whatever it was, somebody from the past or somebody who belongs in the past, okay, is has, has uh, lost their access to you. Like, they have lost their access to you, what, what you bring to the table, or whatever the case is. I'm getting the energy, like, you don't need this person no more. They could have been holding on to you in some sort of way. Like, for example, you could have needed this person to do X, Y, Z, or you guys could have both had your name on some sort of property or, I don't know, phone bill, anything, right? And, you know, this person is, like, scared. Like, they bugging out. Because with the tower energy, it's like, oh, my God. You know, um, I'm just a page, you know? I'm just a page. This person is not going to need me anymore. Whatever this is, it breaks you free from, you know, uh, either needing someone or uh, it takes you so, you're so far removed, like a different tax bracket or even um, relocating or something like that. So, where it's like, you don't even need that. There's no... They can't reach you in whatever way. Either you don't need them no more, they can't reach you or both, whatever. And this person feels with the five of pentacles like, damn, left out, you know, whatever plans is what it feel like they had. Because, uh, you know, we got this, the, the, we have failure and strife at the bottom of the deck. Like, this is like you, you, you fighting with somebody. This could be an ex of yours. I literally heard somebody uncle, somebody uncle got a problem with them. Like, child. It's given scar. It's given scar. It could even be somebody's aunt. It's given scar. But with the lovers here, yeah, this is this is uh it feels like a relationship. Um oh god. Somebody could have always wanted another person to do a specific X E X S E X act. <coughs> Excuse me. And, like, you didn't want to do it no more. Or you got tired of doing it. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. That, I don't, I just picked that up. It's time about somebody going to, to the Dominicans to get their hair done. Uh, there's somebody here who could, like, blowouts or getting their end, ends trimmed. And there's, like, curling, uh, something with a curling wand or something here, too. Somebody feels like there's somebody outside of you that feel like, and this could be an ex-lover or, you know, like I said, like, oh, like now what I'm going to, now what am I going to do? Like I, I was planning on dot, 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 but now I can't even do that because with this opportunity that this person has or with this glow up that this person, you know, and now it's like, oh, I, you know, they're so far removed from me. Now, what do I do? And, and, you know, they keep having, like, these little offers of things, like, oh, page of this and, you know, night of that. And it's like, yeah, no thanks, okay? So, whatever this is. What is this? Show me this. Show me this. What's that? Somebody could need an accountant. Somebody can need an accountant after this. The way how this is going to go. Yeah, the nine of cups in death. Like, oh my gosh. Like, it's like a whole nother. It's like, it's like a whole new world. Somebody's name could be Jasmine. 
a new fantastic point of view. But now I'm, but when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. Somebody is ascending, and I, I'm talking about like bank account, uh, place of residence, attitude. I even be, be getting somebody that look real good. Like it's like yeah, you you. I've told y'all about this before, but you have, you ever bossed up so much that you're not even in a person's league? Like, and, 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 ooh, it's something to be said about a person that treats you like doo-doo, right? Or whatever. <laughs> right? And, like, you glow up so much that, like, you're not, this person can't, can't even hold the candle to you or... You're, they're not even in your league. You're not even in their league. It's like, yeah, you, you, you on ABC level. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm X, Y, Z. I'm all the way up here. You know what I'm saying? Um, who I am and, and what I'm made of and what I could bring to the table or whatever the case is, is like, you, you can't sit at this table. You can't eat at this table. You don't, you, um, you're not eligible. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's not gonna be somebody's not gonna be eligible anymore. And and that's that's what their problem is. Like it's like, oh my God, like what do I do? You know what I mean? There's somebody here that was waiting in the water and felt like they always had a chance with you. With the with the with I'm hearing they they feel like they held some sort of power over you at one point. But with the death card and the nine of cups, it's like whole life change. Whole Life change. You can't even bump into this person on the street no more. Y'all don't walk the same streets. Period. Yes, the world. This is like told. This is like a success story. This is success. Somebody can have a testimony after this. You know what I'm saying? With the with the strength card and the six of wands. Like yeah, somebody is like literally. I heard gallivanting, but somebody is literally like show it all. Show them what you got now, honey. I've been picking up that song for y'all for a while. You got them at your feet now, baby. The the is it the whole town's talking about her? No, that's this little girl, pretty little girl. I picked up, I did a, a reading about that song that I channeled. But this is show it off, show them what you got. Somebody's gonna be thrust into some sort of spotlight energy, and it's like you know it puts another person at rest, especially with the with the emperor and the four swords. Like you can't you you can't. Uh, somebody can't tell somebody what to do no more. I don't know if somebody was living with their parents or living with like some, you know, um, ah, I heard overgrown children or whatever. It's like you cannot be reached. Hello? New life, who this? That's how it is. New life, who this? Who is this? And then it's like I, I'm getting I'm getting people, somebody, oh my gosh, the messages are coming in so fast. I'm getting like, I'm talking to somebody specific. You could have lived with your aunt and uncle or some sort of family members of yours that I feel like they put you like either in a, in a, in a, like they made like a shed or a closet space or something like that for you. Something that, you know what I'm saying? Um, the, the feeling to it, right? It's like they pushed you off. They, yeah, you could go, you go stay in the shed. Somebody could have even been in foster care or something like that. Like, it feels like, you know, you got uh, the scraps. This is how you feel. Or this is what it feels like to me, right? I feel like these could be individuals who purposely tried to keep you down. This could even be in-laws or whatever. Purposely tried to keep you down, uh, muzzle you, uh, stifle your creativity, your beauty, whatever. There's some sort of opportunity that you get. Some of y'all could even be, especially if y'all um working like online or whatever, some of y'all could be, um, things could be blowing up as far as your business, maybe even online or something like that, okay? And, um, <clears throat> um, it may be a shock to you, but I feel like it's something here that like, you know, you could get out there, you could get out there, their home now, or, you know, um, you know, uh, the housing lottery done called you back, uh, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Um, 
and now you're free. And then things just start going uphill from there. Somebody could have scaffolding or something like that around their building. Uh, you know, somebody could even be living in a brand new apartment building. Holding grudges. I, show me what's going on here, please. Anything else to the, uh, in reference to the situation? She's got... And delete. Somebody's mad because you don't deal with them no more. And I, and I told y'all this before. Like, it's like people <laughs> start to exhibit, like, real strange behaviors when, like... Y'all stop speaking and your life moves forward. It's like you got to really, like people be um delusional when they feel like they the only means through which you can succeed. Like, okay, so since I'm not speaking to you now, um, my life got to take a plumbing. Like what type of, what, 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 what authority or type of space that you feel like you withheld in, in my life like shit can't go good without you you get what i'm saying but it's like but it's like this with the failure with the failure energy and strife it's like it feels like because this person might have even been trying to manipulate your life in such a way that things fail because you're not dealing with them and that's the sense of failure that they feel and that's the, another reason why they hold holding grudges but it's just like go about your way go about your way this is one of the people, you know what I'm getting? Like, it feels like somebody who, oh, these people are so crafty, right? You ever had somebody around you that make it seem like you need them in order for things to go right? Or in order to survive? But it's a mind thing because they actually need you. You will find like this type of person that I'm picking up on, like someone making you feel like you're small. Because if you knew like the, the role that you played in their life, you would be able to snatch it from them whenever you felt like it. You would know that you hold the power, right? This is like somebody trying to keep, keep you small or trying to keep your value, okay, to a minimum. Because cause, cause they're mad because... You don't deal with them no more, but it was something here about a codependency co that they had on you, that they wanted you to feel like you had on them. If, if, does that, if that makes sense. Like, you have some parents out here, right, that will not teach their kid uh, certain um, important things in life, right, that they will need in order to, you know, be an adult, right, certain things. And, you know... It, they'll kick it to the outside world, you know, like, oh, my child can't do nothing without me. My child can't, da, 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 da. But, but really it's because they're trying to control the child because they're trying to um, keep the child small so that the child always need them. Even if this is not a child, this is growing into adulthood or whatever. You get what I'm saying? But it's actually that person that actually needs the, the the kids validation or uh you know um you know wants the kids to always seek their approval or whatever this is like a jedi mind chick this is somebody who like could be uh you know well versed in reverse psychology you see this energy of bait and switch this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about you know what i mean so now you have this person sitting in the background like crushing on you you know, and, and, and who or what you've become. Unrequited love. But this is somebody who didn't, and like I say, show you the love that you deserve. Whoever this person is, they treated you like doo-doo. The, the, the main thing that they did not want you to do is know your worth. And then even when you figured out your worth, they didn't want you to receive, um, you know, things back from the universe. Like this person could think you're a great dancer, you know, um, hypothetically speaking. But, you know, maybe always downplayed your, your dancing abilities um, to you. But now that you know you're a great dancer, okay, so now you don't need their affirmation or you don't need them to affirm that or you don't need them to validate that. But now the universe is responding or God is responding or even people are responding um, to 
your craft and what and what you're able to do and your dancing and your your people are coming to your show or they're publicly applauding you or whatever the case is. This person don't like that. Because um, you know, your 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 and power. You know, you have your power back. You you took your power back. I'm hearing Jay Z say, I think I got my swagger back. You see this energy? Look, public attention. I I'm I'm telling you. I'm even getting like this person could have wound up doing deals behind your back or something like that to try to get, you know, people not this. You know what this feel like? Child. Especially with this hostile workplace environment. You know what this feel like? Like, let's just say this is in reference to a co-worker or an old job or something like that. Like you could be uh, leaving a company or whatever to pursue something of your own. This feel like your boss or a co coworkers or some shit like that going behind your back, calling other companies like, yeah, um, she's scheduled to be on your stage. Like, yeah, don't don't f with her. You know what I'm saying? I'll pay you whatever need to be paid, but don't f with her. She not a good da da da. He's not a good da 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 da. Don't don't. You know what I mean? Like you'll never work in this town type energy. But with the gratitude and resourceful, this is God making a way. This is God making a way for you. You know what I mean? So the roads that these people or this person, whoever this company may have tried to close, is like y'all don't have no say so. Whoever this person is, it's like they 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 uh want to play God in your life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I am the only means through through what you through which you can succeed. And then it's like, you spending all this time trying to stop my success. Are you even successful? Because um, if you was, you wouldn't be holding a grudge because I don't fuck with you no more. You would go about your business. You would have things to do. <laughs> you would have things to do. You would be busy. Right? Successful people or, you know what I'm saying, they ain't not worried about nobody else. Like I said, this could be something that's going on um, too, like that got to do with, uh, yeah, look, deep-seated discrimination. This is what I'm saying. Somebody could even be in road rage. Like somebody could even literally like be saying something in court about you. It just don't feel right. You will win in the end. And that's what's, that's what's showing up right now. Whoever this person is, is rolling in their grave because they set you up to fail. This person could have even tried to make sure you fell out with certain friends or family members or companies or whatever the case is in order to sidetrack you. Somebody effed up with the shit and where you eat. Somebody effed up. Like, it was too much um, mob mentality. See, it was too much... Um, dropping gems in certain places or you know i'm gonna say dropping shit like a bird you know what i'm saying in, in certain places and i feel like it's, this person may have uh got their lines crossed with somebody like somebody it feels like or something somewhere you know this person is kind of like being exposed for hating on you because back to when I say like calling up different companies or calling up some, you know, like, let's just say, um, oh, is this person going to be on your stage? Blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, like it, this, this looks like, um, it getting back to you or it getting back to someone else that this person made a phone call or this person knew a judge or, or, or this person knew a lawyer that could dot, dot, dot. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, so now everybody know you, you was out here hating on me. Or people know you was out here hating on me. But I feel like with this mob mentality and deep-seated discrimination, a lot of people already knew. You will experience a lot of this when you have a good, a, a great calling on, on your life. Yeah, settling and encrypted. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is what I'm saying. Imagine settling for a person. Going back to what I was saying earlier. Imagine you settling for a person, but you don't really recognize it because the person does some sort of Jedi mind trick with this energy of encrypted to try to make you feel like that they're what you need. You can't succeed without them. It's like, it's like, it's like, first of all, I'm the talent. Like this can even be like a producer or something like that. Or somebody that like, you know, it's like, first of all, I'm the talent. You sign the fucking papers or, 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 or you, you book the shows or whatever the case is. Like, 
I am the talent. Like somebody got, got their lines crossed because they want you to feel like, oh, you know, well, I know people. You know what I'm saying? I know people. I I, I could get you in the door. Da, 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 da. Somebody wanted you to, you know, um, kiss their feet, kiss the ring, kneel when it come to them because they had some sort of power or they were very crafty or whatever the case is. And bye. <laughs> womp womp. Okay. You don't never get no, uh, to me, you don't get no way of being a hater. That's what that feels like. You don't get no way of being a hater. And I've, but actually, I've seen people get pretty far being a hater, but um, they don't win in the end. Okay? They don't win in the end. Anything else you can tell us about the situation, please? Um, some of you guys have um, a lot of different choices. You guys can be getting callbacks, bookings, or whatever. I see the number 444 on this card. This can even be like a group of people that are in some sort of genre of, um, you know, like say what you do creatively or whatever. And it's like, they know that you better than them. Or they see that you have the potential to be better than them. So, you know, before you even get to Broadway, right, they want to fuck up your little chances of booking these small stages because they know once you get out there that people them are going to love you, you know? Um, you know, um, you're, you're a sensational or they don't want to hear an applause for you. They don't want people to say encore. They don't want you to have returning clients or customers, whatever. Tell me. Somebody, I see somebody doing something. Wow. The wheel of fortune, the 10 of pentacles. Come on now. And a six of swords. I'm here and tell everybody I'm on my way. New friends and new places to see. That's the second Disney reference we had. I think Aladdin was earlier. Somebody has been trying to um uh like cast like some devil energy over you illusion dependency like I don't fucking need you you see this energy right here with this um with this bird in this cage the cage is open this is some sort of Jedi mind trick somebody was trying to use over you and it could have even been in reference to procrastination um trying to keep you small I don't know you know um but like I said, this is even the energy of like family. Like parents be doing this to their to their kids. You know, make sure you check back with me for everything. And if you do one thing that's outside of the box from which I built for you, then 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 ta 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 bad things will happen, right? You know what I mean? Cause I'm cause I'm behind the scenes making bad things happen. This is like your roles will, this is like somebody uh, feeling like your roles will be closed if you don't take, and all other roads will be closed to you if you don't take the path that I mapped out for you. Somebody's getting some sort of relief. Somebody's moving on. This could be financial relief. Something that could have been keeping you stuck. Now you and somebody turning their back on their whole family or a whole group, and the world is out here again. It's the third time the world came. The world came out, I believe. Um, or the second time. Somebody has accomplished something. You know what I'm saying? What is it? Yes, I see somebody making makeup palettes. Oh, I meant to say. If somebody did like a toilet, something about the toilet, like, you know how when you like, they do this thing where, um, you put somebody's name in the toilet or something, flush them down. I... It's to like get rid of somebody. It can't even be a banishing method. If you did that recently, it worked. Somebody could be creating something or could have created something that they, um, started from since they were a child or wanted to do from since they were a child 
um i'm seeing um somebody here who i feel like um whoever grew you um it, it feel like that they could have been stingy it's something here about them making you weird like um you know i, I don't want to get it too much into this i just want a person to know that this message is for them you could have dreamed of wearing better clothing or something like that because you could have had uh, uh now because because this really feel like forced to care you know it, it looked like you might even be a different um nationality than this person somebody really wanted to keep somebody small like that's crazy because it could even be a person's child like why you why you don't want your child to be great you jealous what is the problem like i just don't understand it to always want your child to be better than you but uh what do i know <laughs> like what do i know i don't know yeah it's the person here who look we have the empress and, and look look at this you see how this 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 child is walking away you know what i'm saying head down or whatever with, with the empress like somebody i'm even getting like Somebody could have said, like, oh, you can't be a part of the family no more or whatever the case is. Like, I'm getting another another situation. Like, if this is not even your if this is not even your biological family, it could be a heart locket that got something to do with this anyway. But like somebody could have been like feeding their kids right in front of your face. But 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 you getting like crumbs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I, I get that um somebody could be an ambulance worker, EMT. Is it EMT? Yeah. Like you you left with a dollar in a dream or you left with an idea in a dream. And at first it may not have panned out because somebody was literally trying to close your roles. They was either doing it with magic, word of mouth, slander, through the courts, whatever. Now it's like you're free because something has panned out for you the way it's supposed to. But then it's like, who's it's because i'm getting like whoever this is like somebody's talking about some like oh well you can't be a part of the family like maybe because family is something that you always wanted or you've always wanted support but now it's like you don't even need this person's support you don't even need them actually they were a hindrance and the reason why the roads may even be opening now is probably because you've decided to turn your back on whoever this is and it looks like somebody mother aunt uncle i don't know whoever grew whoever raised somebody um, some some sort of prosperity is going to release a person like it's going to release a person like and that's what people was trying to like you know it's like, why would I want you to get this money? Or why would I want you to get this opportunity when if you do, you won't need me? You, you'll be far away from me. Or, you know, you think you're better. Than, I don't, I, I have no idea. I won't be able to control you anymore. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, the dreamer. Somebody's dream is coming, coming true from when they was a kid. That's what I'm getting. And they got to do with something creative or something like that. Boy, we'll make you happy. Yeah, be your dream girl. Yeah, look, somebody could have been a dishwasher or something like that. Could have been in like a small apartment or what have you. But I see you on the side working on something and you keeping it secret or whatever. You, you're you loving on it and whatever this is. I'm getting some time procrastination, singers block, writers block, uh, emotional blocks, creative blocks or whatever. You know what I mean? But still holding true to whatever dream this is. And now the trumpet has blown and like now it's like your turn or whatever. Now, now somebody could wash your dishes for you. Or now somebody could clean your house for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. Or now you have a bigger home, so, you know, it's less clutter or whatever. Look. Um, hold on. Let me put my charger in. This camera been, like, bugging out with the focus lately, and I just, you know... This is literally, I'm like literally filming with like an iPhone two and a half. So 
I have three phones, but this is the only one that got like the um space for me to be doing stuff. Um Yeah. You see that little coin right there over the side? It's like something grows. It's like something grows. Something was growing. You know, and it gets released to you or whatever. Show me the best. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> look, it's like, look, it's like, it's like somebody's overworked, overstressed, and then now it's like they the Queen of Pentacles. Look, she don't got, she don't wash her own dishes. Uh, she good, but she ain't got time. She don't feel like it. You know what I mean? She don't feel like it. Somebody could have even been trying to treat you like fucking Cinderella. It's like you don't even. I don't. I gotta live with y'all no more. I gotta wash y'all dishes. I don't have to be your um. Uh, how you call it? Like, I don't have to be your, um, your maid no more. Like, I got my own shit. Yeah, something came through, finally, or whatever. All right? This is beautiful, okay? So, congratulations. Let me know how it resonates. 